The dam was built primarily for storage and to meet the storage needs of a growing community. Little Rock Dam being constructed in 1924, it was at that time the biggest, tallest, multiple arch dam constructed. The engineer at the time was John Eastwood, who was well known in the Western Regional for dam construction. At the time when they did it, it was a multiple arch dam, 124 feet high, 576 feet wide, um, unproven. So the arch design was something new to most people in the area. The controversy over Little Rock Dam in 1932 had mostly to do with the spillway design and function. Just four years before that, the San Francis Dam had failed and a new state agency was overseeing dam safety. Little Rock Dam was originally built in 1924 and was renovated to increase the storage capacity of the reservoir in 1994. Removing the sediment from Little Rock Dam is an important uh, part of really maintaining a valuable resource for us. Uh, that dam is there to hold water and when you have uh, you know, hundred, you know, thousands of acre feet of just dirt accumulated behind that dam, that takes the place of the water that could be there and limits our ability to store water. And having water storage is very important, especially, we know this, especially after going through a, a drought. So being able to store more water there after we remove the sediment will be very, very valuable. The Arroyo Toad uh, was found in the watershed area of Little Rock Dam, and it's an endangered species. And so that had a big impact on our ability to utilize that dam in particular, remove sediment from it. Because over years, you know, water coming down and bringing dirt along with it builds up behind the dam. Uh, but because there was a, an endangered species there, uh, there, we've had to go through a lot of mitigation in order to get ready to remove that accumulated dirt that is behind the dam. Little Rock Dam and Reservoir is fed by natural runoff from snowpacks in the local mountains and from rainfall. The water is then transferred from Little Rock Reservoir into Lake Palmdale. After entering Lake Palmdale, this water is treated at the district's water treatment plant for distribution.